two. Practice test one, question number eight. We're supposed to find all six trig functions uh, of the values of all six trig functions of theta right here in this. In this. So uh, thinking about that, let's see. This is at the point negative one, four. So if I think about this triangle here, that means this would be negative one and this would be four. So I'm going to need to know r. I'm going to need to know that radius. I use Pythagorean theorem for that. Uh, 1 squared plus 4 squared. It's really negative 1 squared, but that will come out in the wash. Uh, that's 1 plus 16. Looks like square root of 17 to me. So this is square root of 17. So now as I do those, those trig functions, let's see, th sine, cosine, tangent, and then also we'll have cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So sine, sine is about height. So sine is y over the radius, so 4 over the square root of 17. But I can't leave that root 17 in the bottom, so I'm going to multiply by this version of 1, giving me a, a 4 root 17 over 17. So there's my sine uh, value, 4 root 17 over 17. That's exact. And now cosine, same idea, it's just negative 1 over that, so negative 1 over square root of 17. Same sort of work, get that square root of 17 out of the denominator, negative root 17, whoops, over, sorry, 17. Tangent, I know, is the steepness, it's the slope, so it's y over x, rise over run. So uh, it looks like 4 over negative 1 is negative 4. All right, now I can do those reciprocals. Cosecant is sine switched over. If I go back to sine, I originally had this. So if I flip that over, that's going to be uh, negative square root of 17 over 4. Similarly, secant goes to cosine. Cosine was, uh, here it is. Uh, negative 1 over square root of 17, so that would just be square root of negative 17 over 1. I don't need to write the 1 part. Cotangent is tangent flipped over. Tangent is negative 4. Cotangent is negative 1 fourth. There they all are.